So when it comes to pool design, I have a couple basic rules that I use. I'm, from my perspective, I'm very simple. Uh, the designs are really very simple. I only use a few basic shapes over and over and over and then work off of the shape and create something else out of it. I don't have a template of, of a hundred different shapes that I use. I don't have, a, I, I'm sort of organic. Look at the yard, talk to a customer, decide the types of things that they're looking for. And at the point that I'm there, they really understand my style. And my style, if you look at a pool, you know it's something that I've designed. Just from a, from a design standpoint and the shape and approximate use of material standpoint. And that's very much organic. I don't have a preset idea going into it. It has a lot to do with the layout of the land, the layout of, of what's existing, that's staying, what's being removed. But once I've seen all that and I've walked on the property and I see what I'm doing, then the design is pretty simple. And I do it all by hand. I know there's a lot of great programs online, or a lot of great programs for your computer and things that you can rent month to month, which are amazing for from a design standpoint. But for me, mine is a little more art. And, and when it's art, I like to be organic and I like to be in it and I like to be kind of old schoolish. That really gives me a feel as to what the project's going to be just by designing it in my head and the drawing of it instead of relying on some outside source pre-clicking and putting it into place by me hand drawing and erasing and drawing and erasing I'm building it in my head and when I'm building it in my head it translates better into the yard. Cool.